Yo, what's going on? On a bit of a road trip here this afternoon, heading down to Wilmington Wrightsfield Beach area. Gonna go catch up with a couple of mates, uh, head out spear fishing tomorrow. Um, weather's holding out, has it rained um, today, which is a nice change. Um, anyway, we'll uh, look to go out wide if the weather's good. If not, um, staying a bit closer, maybe even head down to the frying pan tower, see if we can't round up a few APs, a couple hogfish, maybe even a few bugs off the bottom. Anyway, stick around, check it out. Good to go. Oh, my God. 
Two groupers sitting just under that ledge there. Have my fing safety on. <laughs> yeah. Never shot one. I just it looks like a fish from back home. Yeah. That tastes good, so I shot it and Sam said tastes good, so <laughs> if you're a limit, I just shot a grouper. Well it's a day after guys. a uh, bit of a mad rush to get back home last night, so I didn't get any footage as we're getting off the boat and all the fish that we got, but we did alright. Got a uh, a few pompano, um bunch of grouper, uh, a crayfish that Hayden was uh, generous enough to hand off to me. That's the good thing about having a mate that can't eat that shellfish. Um, whenever he finds them, there's always something available for those that don't. So thanks, mate. Um, anyway, let's uh, have a look at what I brought home here. So there may be not a lot of quantity in this one, but I'll tell you what, the quality certainly makes up for it. What a magical day out there. Um, got my first hindfish. I've never eaten one of these. Um, I was down about 60 foot. And he was posturing up like the cold trout do back home, flaring up his gills, um, sort of puffing his, his, uh, the front of his head up, um, and really posturing up as if I was coming in hit to his territory. Um, you know, he's got the real sort of uh, similar shape to the cold trout back home, uh, covered in dots. And for me, a fish that's uh, of this species um, and this sort of coloration out in the reef, uh, I'll have no problem. Uh, putting a shaft through one and they all taste pretty good and I'm looking forward to trying that one out. Uh, then there's the crayfish that uh, Hayden found. Um, probably got that down close to mid 80s, I guess maybe 85 foot. Um, 
decent size too. Um, nice long tail on it. Um, that should come up a treat tonight. About the first decent thing a Kiwi bloke's ever bloody done. Um, and then we've got uh, the AP um, that I shot. And uh, these are my favorite fish to eat over here in North Carolina. Um, it doesn't matter how you how you uh, cook these up, they come up good, whether it's even sashimi, just take a couple of slices off. Um, you can take a nice fillet, grill it on the barbecue. Uh, but for me and my family, um, we'll make a whole bunch of fish and chips out of this. Um, we'll do it in a light, sort of egg wash and gluten-free flour batter. Um, do it in a really shallow pan uh, with some peanut oil and a little bit of olive oil and that'll come up a treat. Throw it on the plate with uh, some uh, sweet potato fries. But anyway, um, pretty good uh, day out with the boys on short notice. And uh, I'll get some of this in the kitchen. We'll have a look what we do with it. All right, so we're, we're in the kitchen. We've got this uh, crayfish um, out on the boat. Um, one of the boys showed me this trip, uh, trick on this trip. I hadn't seen it before, but you get your knife up in the back and there's a membrane you can break. And it's like bleeding a fish, but it bleeds out um, all the stuff that's inside. So yeah, you just get that right up in under there like that, cut around releases that membrane and it comes out. Now these are super easy. You can just grab the tail and you can sort of get your hands up in there. Twist it and it comes out with all that meat. Um, so you can see there, it's pulled out a whole bunch of that meat from inside. Um, that'll cook up nice. A Little bit of cleaning we have to do here, um, but I'll get in there and clean that out. Uh, you can sometimes just pull this straight out. Um, I'll get in there and just make it so make sure it's all good. Um, but I'll go in and for tonight uh, we'll either cut this down the belly, um, butterfly, uh, put some uh, some butter and maybe a bit of garlic or something like that in there, straight in the grill. Uh, maybe wrap it in some foil um, and uh, we'll let it sit in there for a little while until it's done. Uh, you can also take a knife cut straight down the middle, so you've got it completely butterflied open, you've got two halves, you could throw those halves straight on the grill plate um, and do barbecue style. Um, so I'll see what the young fella wants uh, tonight and I'll, I'll make sure I cook it his way. Uh, the other good thing with this head, uh, there's certainly no waste here. Um, if, these, if this was a little bit bigger, you can get the legs and you can blow um, the uh, meat out of them. Um, I, I might make a bit of a seafood broth with this um, clean out uh, some of the other mustard and stuff on the inside, but boil down these legs and get a bit of a broth going so I can use that for a bouillabaisse later on. Um, I really enjoy cooking up uh, my seafood. Uh, so pretty simple to process one of these. Um, but anyway, family's hungry, so I've got to get into it. So pretty good trip on short notice, get down there, get some fish, uh, throw some uh, on the dinner plate tonight, throw a bunch of that pompano in the freezer. That'll uh, keep us going for a couple of weeks. Um, it's always nice getting down there, seeing those guys down the coast. Um, I try and get down there as often as I can, but it seems to be uh, few and far between these days. Um, I've got a few hunts with those guys later on this year. We've got some deer hunts. So a few of us have got some uh, elk tags. So we're gonna head out west a bit later on. Um, we might even go do a bit of duck hunting. Um, so, you know, it's good to get a core group of guys and all have similar hobbies and stuff we like to do. Um, you know, spearing's one of those and I encourage you blokes to, uh, who are interested to get out there and give it a go. Um, find your local uh, operators, uh, take a, uh, a safety course, uh, learn to do your uh, free diving properly. 
Um, you know, safety is very important out there. It's one of the things we preach um, as a group and with each other, you know, never dive alone, always dive with a buddy. Uh, but anyway, um, get out there, get after it. I'm Will Galton, and if you like this stuff, subscribe, hit the like button. It helps me out. Cheers.